Good morning. I'd like to call this uh, Homes Committee to order. And if anybody has a declaration of pecuniary interest, declare it now. Uh, so our, our main item today is an information item, and it's the long-term care information report. And, and uh, you go ahead with it. Thanks. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, the, the report before you has been pre-circulated, and I offer you the following highlights. Bruce Lee Haven has had a Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care inspection following up on critical reports and complaints um, in our, this area. The visit was routine and expected. However, it lasted a uh, longer than expected period of time between August 28th and September 25th. The Ministry has discovered a number of concerns and will be writing us a report which will be completed within the next eight weeks. The Gateway Haven report, which, was, uh, which occurred on uh, the 3rd of August, it was uh, put in place <clears throat> as a normal inspection and we will receive a report on that within the next six to eight weeks. With regards to the long-term care homes alignment and exploration exercise, this is part of our business plan for 2018. And basically what it's seeing is all managers from both homes meeting and discussing common challenges while also looking at a number of uh, facility issues which will help them understand what they do in each other's homes so that we can drive out from that a number of uh, efficiencies. We will be looking for opportunities for greater alignment and synergies between units, common issues that need to be discussed during the next round of uh, negotiations, and opportunities to share resources between the long-term care homes. We're also looking at bulk purchasing and tendering opportunities where we can have greater purchasing advantage between the homes and different opportunities for process assessment uh, and alignment through using the lean process. This is already starting uh, or has already started with, with dietary uh, in the uh, tendering of a common food supplier and using of common databases, the EFIS repair uh, process and phone installation information is being uh, shared between both homes as well as areas of uh, nursing and infection control and another uh, another uh, number of uh, uh, areas. What this uh, will do when this uh, activity is completed in November it will give us a fulsome discussion of all of those areas of potential which will allow us to drive uh, greater efficiencies between the homes its management and um, staff members therein. The centralized scheduling office um, uh, continues to do its work effective on September 18th. The, the centralized scheduling office has now taken responsibility during the weekday hours to facilitate call-ins for the nursing departments of both county homes. To do this with uh, greater efficiency, we are uh, piloting a computer-based call-in or call-out service, which is giving us uh, the opportunity to call staff quicker and earlier so that they can have a better, uh, better opportunity to plan their lives uh, as opposed to the other or the previous manual call-out process. The um, way staff currently receive or previously received um, a request for service was by a phone call. Now at their will and pleasure, they can receive information through cell phones, their home phone, email, or by texting. So they can uh, quickly find out what's available and sign into, this, uh, sign into these uh, shifts. Uh, currently, using this technology, we're able to now um, fill shifts further out, letting people have a better understanding of when they're working and uh, a better chance of developing a work-life balance. Madam Chair, those are the, uh, that is the report for homes for this month. 
Okay, does anybody have any questions regarding the report? Uh, David? Uh, <clears throat> yes, Michael, just remind me again how many, how many staff people are in the rescheduling or the scheduling office? Uh, there are three, sir. Three? Three full-time. And are we seeing a positive, uh, a positive uh, attitude in, in the workforce with regard to uh, scheduling in that manner? Or is that, is that I would gonna, say is that, that we're, gonna come over time? I would, I would, I would say, uh, Madam Chair, that the, the technology that we put in place is new for the homes, and we're assessing it. We've had um, a positive reaction, and we've had uh, staff liking to go back to the old way where it was um, more flexible for them. Uh, we are finding that the institution or the instituting of one way of doing business across the homes um, is bringing about change that uh, some staff do not appreciate. But we believe that uh, with that change will bring consistency and transparency, which previously didn't exist, and will remove inconsistencies in the process, which were um, un unhealthy and in some cases in breach of the collective agreement. So to answer the question directly, Madam Chair, we're in a state of change where uh, we believe uh, we're on the right course and staff will appreciate it more in the future. Right now, um, it's uh, not all are happy with the processes that we're bringing in place. Well, change until you kind of get some of the processes and uh, people get it figured out. It's, it's, it's always causes some upheaval for a while. I, I was wondering, and I don't know whether this is the appropriate time to ask, uh, but you had mentioned um, having enough PSWs. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, have you been making any progress on that front? We, we have made progress and a, the Human Resource Department has been working very hard in backfilling a number of lines. Our backfilling of uh, lines is, um, is, is, is much healthier than it has been previously. Where we do have uh, some issues is when uh, staff leave their roles for um, uh, illness, or uh, uh, unexpected leaves, and we have to backfill those areas with uh, staff or casual staff. And when those happen in volume, that causes, causes an issue. Uh, but as far as filling our lines are concerned, we're, uh, we're much healthier than we have been previously. If, if I might, Madam Chair, part of our um, issue is that we're uh, trying to get, give our staff vacation and we're holding that as a sacred commitment. And as a result, we are sending staff out uh, on a daily basis to their holidays. And as a result, uh, by doing that, it, it also increases the pressure, but uh, the staff uh, more than deserve their, their break and uh, we're, we're keeping that and allowing that to continue, which does cause a staffing pressure. Yes, well, I, I've heard from different institutions that it's getting people's vacations or they're called in on their vacation because there are no staff. Not not here, I haven't heard for our specific thing, but I've heard it in others with PSWs. The, the other thing I heard was um, there, so in King Carden, we kind of have a, a locum house. We're fortunate enough to have locum houses and uh, and I've heard of them doing the same with PSWs. They, they provide some sort of place and they, they bring people in from the city, from Toronto or, you know, that are able to work weekends or um, work some shifts, and but they don't have transportation. So their transportation has to be paid and, and they have to have very affordable housing or it's provided. Uh, for them for that stretch uh, to provide uh, uh, relief or to fill in gaps that you have. So that's being done in some places in, in rural Ontario. Anyway, that's just food for thought. So if there's no any other comments, then uh, we're the, our next meeting, oh, 
act on recommendations uh, that in accordance with the procedure bylaw, staff be authorized and directed to give effect to the actions of the Homes Committee. When you don't have actions, do you have to still read that? I was wondering. Through you, Madam Chair, just as a matter of good practice, you, oh, okay. you should. Okay, so I need a mover and seconder then. Moved by Robert and second by Janice. All in favor? Okay, that's passed. And our next meeting is November 1st, 2018, and I need a motion to adjourn. Moved by uh, Mike and second by Janice. All in favor? And we're adjourned. Thank you very much.